Welcome to my home. Okay, yes. So this is about the third week that I've been here, that I've had the keys, that I've owned the home, and I figured it's about time that we do a home tour. I really wanted to do a home tour before we started some of the renos and stuff that we were doing in the house before, you know, we change it so there's a really good like before and after. Obviously, as you can see, the house is full of crap because that is about to begin. Let's go. Start with a foyer, little foyer with a closet here. A pantry that also doubles as like a coat closet leads right into the kitchen here. Kitchen is actually quite sizey. The previous owners said that they wanted to make sure that they had like a good sized kitchen where two people could be in the kitchen at the same time and like not really run into each other with enough counter space to make it work. And it's, yeah, they did a good job. I think my favorite part, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but the open concept. I feel like if you have an open concept kitchen, it really forces you to curate and be intentional with the kitchen stuff that you accumulate because it can be so easy just to accumulate a lot of crap. I speak from experience because I'm a crap accumulator. Then we come into like the living room slash bedroom area. We've got a propane heater. We've got heat pump. We also have a, like electric heating, like baseboard heating around the side, but there's so much heating options that I probably won't even use it. The only thing that really we're gonna do with the entire space is paint because as you can see, as I stand here, you see how they're kind of yellow instead of white? What it is is essentially there's clearly oil on the wood that then they painted it white and the oil is seeping through. And so now you can see it's just got this like yellow hue. So we're really gonna try and sand this down, put a couple of coats of primer and then put another coat of white paint on. And hopefully that'll be enough. As you can also see, they are all just wood slats, right? Just wood slats that have been just like pinned onto the wall. And again, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but this was like my favorite feature of the house. Let's move to the bedroom area. Now this is a fixed bed into the ground. It does need a little bit of TLC, but we were thinking about ripping it up and putting a hide bed in here and open up the space. But what we realized is since this was originally a two car garage, the entire base of the house almost has like two feet of cement. And so underneath here, unfortunately, it's two feet of cement. So it would mean you know, having to like jackhammer it out. And it could, it's possible, it's possible, but it's not something that I wanna take on. I'm happy to just refinish the bed, give it another paint job, facelift, and I'm happy. As well as the back walls here. I think we're gonna remove the wood paneling and we're gonna put in either gyp rock or a different type of paneling and make it like a feature piece. And I think that's actually one of the things that we're gonna be doing today is starting to remove those panels. Which leads us into the bathroom does have washer dryer, which I think is pretty great. So then we got, you know, just your, your classic like sink, toilet, shower, pretty big, pretty big shower. No bathtub, but I'm not a bathtub person. So now let's go outside and look at the garage. So yeah, it's fairly small, but it's gonna do the job. There's also a upper part up here, which is above this that you need a ladder to get to in order to like able to store stuff or whatever. But again, just more storage space for things. The majority of the stuff here is my dad's cause he's here to guide me in uh, all the renos, renos that we're doing to the house, which again, it's not many, which is really painting, but my dad is um, a perfectionist. So it isn't just painting, it's way more than that. And we'll get into it later. Now, right behind the garage is this like empty space right here now this space i don't know what they had planned for it but essentially if i want to extend this building or if i want to make this building bigger uh the permits already al allows me to be able to add an extension to this building which might be something i do in the future but uh, i just drained my bank account so we're not going to think about that right now okay we'll go around the back side of the house now propane for the stove it has my water shot off on and off valves as well as some like hose ports and stuff also these are like the only neighbors that i can see like from the property everyone else is like i just i can't see their house but even then because i'm up on a hill and they're below me it's still so private i just i absolutely love it Anyway, that brings us around to the front yard. I do have my very own uh, man-made little pond here, which I think is so cute. Last week I had water lilies, but they're not here this week. I'm wondering if deer eat them, I'm not sure. 
and last but not least, it's time to see the cottage. So on the property, there's this small cottage. The owners lived here while they were building the two bedroom car garage into the house that it is today. And it is still stayed here. So it's a really small cottage, but it has everything you need for like the perfect little art studio. I don't know, I've always wanted like a little art studio, a little art nook, a little reading place. So we'll see what this turns into eventually. This place isn't the priority right now. Um, the living, my main living quarters is the priority, but it's nice to know that having this is an option. You hear that sound? It sort of sounds like pebbles. It's not pebbles. Gross. I picked this house because of the imperfections. She's got nuggets in her attic. <laughs> It'll be 200 bucks, by the way. Uh, no. <laughs>